Aquarius, welcome. I'm Alicia and Vince here from Two Mystics Tarot. Today, we're going to pull some advice from Spirit for you. This is a general reading. If you resonate with it, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any uploads. Now, let's dive right and see what messages Spirit has for you. All right, Aquarius, let's get some messages and see how you can enhance your life spiritually, physically, and financially. Okay, so we got the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, the Chariot, the Sun, Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Very, very interesting, Aquarius. So your guides definitely are letting you know there's new movement here, but you have to really embrace things for what you currently have. You need to be more grateful. We'll start with off with the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is the energy that wants to enter your life. This person, there's a love interest that wants to enter your life. You have that pentacle energy, grounded, nurturing, someone, again, who's very practical, there's a lot of abundance and joy here from this person. Now, the same person that's very interesting, they have a lot of attractive traits because the Knight of Swords lets you know that they're very strategic, they have clarity, they're very wise, very intellectual. You guys mesh very well together. You've been waiting for someone that you can, you know, uh, relate to, someone that completes you, your better half, and this is definitely that person. Now, the reason you guys are meant to be together is because you're both vibrating in the same frequency, guys. Everything is energy. The fact that you are vibrating in the frequency of love in the same reason that this person is going to notice you, going to attract you. Because you look at it this way. Imagine like dialing into a radio station. You can only hear the signal, pick up the signal of the frequency you dial into. You have to be dialed into the same frequency to let this person notice you and for you to notice them. Very important. Right now you are and your guides are letting you know if you follow the chariot's energy of staying on course, right? Do not get distracted. Put your blinders on. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep being happy. Keep being a good soul. Good things are going to come. The sun next to that goes to show that this whole harmonious relationship is supposed to unfold naturally. It's supposed to be very organic. And this is definitely someone that you're supposed to see yourself grow old with. But if we focus on the Nine of Swords mentality of fear and anxiety of why hasn't this happened sooner than later, when is this manifestation going to take place, you will fall victim to the Ten of Swords, which is rock bottom. This opportunity will pass you by. It will come and go and you won't even know, you won't even notice it. So again, abundance is here for you. Love is here for you. This is absolutely beautiful. But your warning sign from the universe is letting you know that if you're not happy, things won't unfold. Now, that's a great deal to me. Then, you know, if the universe is like, I'm going to uh, introduce true love to you and all you have to do is be happy, take that deal. I know it sounds too simple, but you will never find a deal like that again. Be happy, fill your heart full of love, get in alignment, make this happen. Exactly, Aquarius. I'm feeling the same way. King of Wands, Four of Swords, Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups, Three of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Again, I really feel like right now you're really um, embracing this, um, this really powerful energy. I feel like you know what you want. I feel like you know what you're looking for. And again, the only challenge right now to continuously move forward with that confidence, that passion, is to make sure that you're remaining in that high vibrational state, Four of Swords, right? It feels like right now would be a good time that if you're second guessing or doubting yourself or going into a state where you're, you know, just not your best self, that it is good to get out in nature, go for a walk, spend some time alone, really get to know yourself because it does look like there's a transformation here coming for you, butterfly. You're in the middle of one, I should say. It feels like right now you're in that state where you're moving from one chapter to the next. And, you know, in doing so, we have to walk away from certain things, eight of cups. So don't let that be an illusion. Don't let that fool you. This, this is part of the game. This is part of how things work, right? In order to move forward, we must say goodbye to certain things, whether that be a, a belief that no longer serves you, whether that be a toxic person in your life, whether that be materialistic things in your reality, cleaning up your closet, it doesn't matter. It's walking away from some things that no longer fit who you are anymore. As we grow and as we progress in life, we become different people. We evolved souls and whoever you are in that evolution, you want to make sure that your outside surroundings match that so that we continuously have inspired action so that we're continuously working towards our goals. And that's what I can see 
see here because it does feel that way with this three of wands energy, right? It's that you've really put in this time and this effort to, uh, you know, take control of what's yours. Now you're just waiting for the fruits of your labor. In the meantime, make sure that, again, your outside in, um, circumstances match that. That way you don't get any blockages. That way you that, that way you keep creating. And, you know, always remember with this two of pentacles, this is always that cue from the universe to let you know, prioritize, prioritize, prioritize what is most important for you right now. What is going to get you to your greatest good? Always remember, there is always enough out of this life. The abundance, love, there's a, enough to go around for everybody times a million. It's just a frequency. And so whenever, again, we're doing what's best for us at that time, a lot of the times we have, wear clothes we don't even connect with anymore. A lot of the times we eat foods that don't sit well to us anymore. And these are the things that we have to clean up, walk away from in order to become the person that we are meant to become. Exactly. And how do you know when, when you're tapped into your intuition is because you feel good, right? If you're eating something, you don't even want to be eating it, but you're eating it because you know it's it's normal. It's just something you usually do. Stop eating it. If you're talking to people that don't make you feel good, you don't want to be talking to them, stop talking to them. If you're watching shows that don't raise your vibrations and all they do is provide fear and anxiety, stop watching it. But you have to take that action step or else nothing else will change. We got the universe, the six of wands, the 10 of pentacles, the five of pentacles, the eight of pentacles. Look at that synchronicity, these guys, and the two of swords. Remember we spoke about earlier that pentacle energy of that love interest? Clearly your guys are letting you know, follow this path. The universe, which is the world card, goes to show that everything is lining up for you. Destiny is on your side. Now, this doesn't always happen, guys. You have to understand that when things align, you have to strike while the iron's hot. You do not want to, you don't expect everything to work all the time. Right now, the universe is letting you know if you follow the game plan of raising your vibes and keeping them there and not engaging in negative energy, the six of wands lets you know it is smooth sailing. You have nothing to worry about. Next to that is the 10 of pentacles that lets you know that this person's energy is going to match yours in harmonious relationship. You're going to be in sync. So again, everything is lining up for you guys for success here. Where it gets tricky, if you fall victim to that five of pentacles scarcity mentality, right, of whatever happened in the past you're trying to bring into your present, this is not what you want to do. Just because your previous relationships were not up to par, they were not good, doesn't mean that they were a waste of time. They were leveling up opportunities. You learned from them. That's why you became the beautiful Aquarius that you are now, and you're going to use that in your new relationship. They be grateful for them. Thank the universe that you had those experiences because without them, you wouldn't be who you are today. Once you do that, the Eight of Pentacles lets you know you will be in alignment. Everything will be into the flow state. You will be a craftsman, craftswoman at what you do. Everything will be effortless and you will avoid basically the two of swords mentality of fear and anxiety plaguing you your intuition being you know uh, obstructed from fear right and that way the clarity that you seek will be there and you'll be able to make everything work for you again it comes down to what letting go to receive getting into the flow state getting into alignment and believing in destiny absolutely and i couldn't say it better and here's the things that's what i'm getting too so i just pulled before we go into the row here watch a movie dance so the messages that I'm getting is that if you have recently been inspired to watch a movie, recently heard a song on the radio and something sparked that intuition, know that it's your guides and angels trying to communicate with you. So this is how they do so. Maybe a, a video on YouTube, maybe a song, maybe an inspired movie. If there's something that resonated from that movie, a line in the movie, a line in the song, you know, a, a, a lyric in the song, then that is, you know, if it sparks your intuition, follow it. That is your guides and angels trying to speak to you. Universe works in mysterious ways. Let's get into this the hangman eight of swords ten of cups ten of swords six of pentacles nine of pentacles again with this hangman energy it's really about always remembering that when you take the time for yourself getting out in nature spending those few minutes alone very important that you're alone in your own energy centers that is how we get the clarity we're able to dial down the noise dial down the stimulation we receive everywhere then we're going to be able to get that and it's going to give us the clarity to keep us out of this eight of swords mentality right it's really going to make us um see the bigger picture on things give us that insight that we're looking for in order to be the best we can be, in order to have the best family life, balance the best home life, balance, you know, our, our, uh, our work life with our career and our friends and everything. Right. And, you know, it's, a lot of the time, it, it's really about give and take. It's really about knowing when is that time where you give, when is that time where you take, and when is that, does it feel reciprocated, you know? And that's what I'm getting with the Six of Pentacles. Like, are you living your life in such a way where it feels very balanced, right? And 
at the end of the day, whenever we live balanced, whenever we or at that point where we, you know, ten of swords that where we realize it's at the end of the road of something, it's such a beautiful feeling. You know, it's such it's that moment again where we the universe almost our guides and angels almost, you know, give us this little nudge in that direction of it's like, oh hey, you know, hey, you wanted to get to this place? Okay, well you gotta do this first. And that's exactly how it, the ball starts rolling. It's like when you ask for an intention, when you set your intention of what you're looking for, that's when the universe directs you. And it's not again always going to be comfortable, but it is always worth it because that's what's getting you there it's what's getting you to this nine of pentacles energy the self-fulfillment energy which only can come from the control of who you are only you can control who you are by what you think and by what you feel we cannot let other um outside influences dictate our own happiness or we would never be happy exactly <laughs> right like if you're waiting for something to make you happy good luck with that but if you're waiting for you know if you if you let yourself make you happy if you find that humor that joy that abundance that being grateful within yourself so you're happy all the time. Even when something negative happens, you look at it from a glass half full perspective. You tell yourself, I'm so grateful that it wasn't worse. You know what I mean? Like it, it can be done, guys. All right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any uploads. We can't wait to your next reading. Until then, check out these ones right here. We'll chat soon. Bye for now, Aquarius. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Aquarius.